What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and I got some good news and I have some bad news about contracts in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. But before we get into all of that, earlier today, Treyarch posted an update over on the Black Ops 4 subreddit, and they talked a little bit about weapons in the black market reserves, but based off their response, if you even want to call it that, it just does not seem like they're going to be getting rid of weapons that are locked behind reserve drops anytime soon. Um, they're not going to be changing up the model, like, literally whatsoever, which really does suck because it's honestly some bullshit. The majority of the player base does not agree with weapons weapons being locked behind reserve drops, but nonetheless Treyarch stated that they will be coming out with contracts that will allow players to earn in-game rewards by completing specific challenges in all the modes including zombies, multiplayer, blackout, and league play. And I'm gonna have the entire little discussion thread on screen for you guys, along with the after action report for the contracts menu. And if you take a look at this, it's kind of, you know, underwhelming if I'm gonna be honest because um, the rewards just are not really that good. I mean, you're coming out with XP rewards for a game that's already been out for like nine months now. Seriously, Treyarch, like nobody cares about XP anymore. People care about getting these weapons in reserve drops. So why not throw a weapon bribe in there? Why not throw a contract to allow players to earn one of the new weapons in the game, not XP? Like, nobody honestly cares about that. Now, you can also earn reserve drops, but at the same time, they're probably not even duplicate protected. So after completing the contract and doing all of that work, you have the possibility of earning a duplicate item from the reserve drop. Like, that's just so, so ridiculous, and I can't believe Treyarch expects fans to get excited over this. And also in the Reddit post, they're wording it in a way to show that, hey, we're gonna fix all of the backlash we're getting by adding contracts with rewards that are very underwhelming for the challenge. And they continue to push their horrible model for microtransactions. I truly, truly do hope that for the other modes like Zombies Multiplayer League Play, they can have different rewards instead of just XP and a reserve drop. Um, but we should have more details about that coming out in the next major update, which is set to come out later this month here. Um, I do hope that this image they showed was just like a little throw up example there. Um, but don't get me wrong, I'm excited for contracts for sure. I think it's a very good thing for the game. But please, throw in more duplicate protected bribes, throw in more weapon bribes, or heck, even a Mark II variant that we can earn directly by completing contracts. Just please do not make it so dang boring. I want to feel motivated and excited to complete these contracts every single day or every single week instead of just getting, you know, a silly looking crab charm for a gun that I've already gotten before on a bunch of other different weapons in the game. Now moving on to Blackout for the Alcatraz LTM, they have added two new locations locations which are the submarine from the multiplayer map icebreaker and then shipwreck which is basically just a torn apart rusty old ship i like these new additions because i feel they're going to promote more of the outside water areas instead of everyone always landing in buildings or on the actual island itself there's also been some environmental changes to certain locations as well, so definitely I do recommend you guys playing Alcatraz Island in Blackout. It's my second favorite LTM so far. And then for Ground War, Treyarch has updated the game to count wins in the mode towards your record, which is nice because now I'll actually go out and play the game more because I feel there's no need to play if stats won't count. Um, but like I said, now they have updated wins to count in that game mode. So, yeah, guys, those are some quick updates about Blackout and a quick preview of contracts. Please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments, guys. And thanks for watching. Till next time, I'll see you later.